what is going on guys welcome back to the channel so I got a message a couple weeks back uh, from one of my friends that I talk to a lot um, iconic I'll link his channel name to the description box below but basically um, iconic does a stream and he's been trying to get me in on the stream a lot and uh, I just really haven't had time to do it mainly because I can't find one of those Elgato um, cam links and when you do find one they're like super expensive so he linked me an alternative to that and I watched a video from Random Frank P and he actually featured this in his like top five items under fifty dollars video he does those videos a whole lot um, he actually linked me to this this thing right here this little bitty thing acts just like a cam link and I wanted to show you guys exactly how it's used and exactly what all comes in the box what to do with it how it works what cameras you can hook up to it and everything so let's go ahead and jump into the ease of use of this thing okay so literally man this is all that comes in the box the video capture card device itself an extension cord and some directions but the directions are so simple you do not need them especially if you plan on using OBS if you know how to use OBS already you do not need the instructions so this thing is very very simple all it is is a USB and a HDMI input USB output HDMI input very very simple I mean it's as easy simple as it gets then this is just a simple you know extension it's nothing nothing fancy at all so um, let's go ahead and show you exactly how this thing gets set up and how it works so from here it's pretty straightforward all you do is you just plug in the USB to the USB jack right there that's all you gotta do so now that's hooked up so this is hooked up now once you do that your computer should recognize this as the USB composite device so now that you got that hooked up all you want to do is just take your HDMI cord this plugs in from the camera to the little HDMI capture card simple as that from there you should see your camera connect to the monitor okay so here we are in OBS and I'm using OBS's because it's my main mode of doing things like this and this is just for demonstration purposes so um, first thing you want to do when you get an OBS and if you're familiar with this you know exactly what I'm about to do you want to go to sources you want to click the little plus and then you want to go to video capture device right here go to video capture device and the screens opens up and you can create a new one or you can add an existing or whatever you want to do but for these purposes right here I'm just gonna click OK and once you click OK there it goes this is what you're going to be greeted with now you have all these different options right here that you can use if you want to use it um, you don't really have to but for demonstration purposes I'm just going to leave it as it is and just click OK and this is it this is what you got now one thing I will say about this this different option of using a camera as a webcam versus using a webcam an actual webcam is that you have a lot of granularity control over your camera that you don't have with your webcam. This is a much easier way for me to stream if you ask me. The video quality is much better as you can see the depth of field is just like insane right now. And this is just with a kit lens on my Sony a6100. And this is a mirrorless camera as well. Um, the one thing you're going to want to do though is you're going to want to have this thing plugged up because you will drain battery fast. No matter what camera you're on, no matter what you got going on with the camera um, also I got this in movie mode so I don't have it in like you know automatic mode or nothing like that I put it in movie mode because it completely clears out the screen from all the um, the display items and stuff like the ISO the aperture the time the battery percentage all that stuff so um, yeah this little $45 device man it, it works it does exactly what you wanted to do and it's gonna enable a lot of more people to actually get their dream off the ground and start streaming and recording things that they want to record so with that said guys I definitely recommend this little thing um, it's awesome it's only 45 bucks as opposed to the Elgato cam link which is like 200 plus right now because you can't find them anywhere and um, that's about it so that's basically the demonstration on how this thing works so as you can see this little guy right here it's only about 45 bucks it's a little cheaper they got different models from different companies and stuff but the one I got was about 45 bucks and um, this little thing, it does a lot. It lets you use pretty much any DSLR or mirrorless camera as a webcam. And as you can see, the audio quality 
and the video quality itself is much, much, much more improved than a typical 1080p webcam like a C920 from Logitech or something like that. So um, I would definitely, definitely recommend this. If you guys like what I did in this video, drop me a like. It really helps out. Um, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media. And that's going to be all for today's video. Joe from Petty Fixes. I'm out.